Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sunny Kuswan. Today I'm going to share the details about the top 8 data sets for the emotion detection project. In this episode, I'll try to provide the link of the, all the data sets, their download links and site links where you can go and find the more details about that data set and you can download it from there. Okay, so here you can see the, our first data set that is a emotic and the baseline of this data set is a context is important to recognize the emotion. Okay, so you can see that this person is in the particular different two context and based on its context, its emotions are the different because same facial expression may be represent the different emotion in the different context. Okay, so let me just scroll down and show you the more details about this data set like this data set contains the images which are annotated with the extended list of 26 emotional categories combined with three common continuous dimensions like valence, arousal and the dominance. Okay, so let me show you that what are all these total 26 emotional categories are available inside of this data set. So I'm just coming back to top and here you can see the link annotations. You can click on this and here you'll find the what kind of images it is having and what kind of readings associated with those image are recorded over there. Okay, so if I just scroll down here, you can find the discrete categories. So there are total 26 categories like a peace, affection, esteem, anticipation and next to the each emotion title you will read the more details about when they are saying about the peace it means that well-being and relax no worry having positive thoughts or sensation and satisfied okay so this kind of description they have provided for the each emotion or the each discrete category mentioned over here so you will be able to understand very well that what each discrete category means okay and along with that you will find here they are having the three continuous dimensions like a valence arousal and dominance okay so you can also get a more understanding about what exactly it means over here so now let's talk about this is the all the details about the data set and what are all discrete categories and continuous reading it has now let's talk about how to download it so on top right corner of this site you'll find one download button if you just click on that you'll get redirected to the download the emotic data set link and here you can see that click here to download the images so you can see that this data set is having around three point 2 gigabyte size so you can click over here and you can download this data so this is all about our first data set emotic okay now let's talk about our second data set okay so now here is our second data set that is a effect net it is a one of the largest data set about the facial expression images so you can see that this actual data set contains the 1 million facial images and these images are collected all over from the internet by using the three different search engines and this data set is a search with the 1215 emotion related keywords in six different languages. Okay. And this data set is having the seven discrete facial expressions and also has a details about the intensity of violence and the arousal. Okay. So if you want to download this data set, then it won't be possible to download directly. You have to go here. So you can see if you just scroll down. For downloading the APECnet, only lab manager, professors and student supervisors should fill out the request from here. Okay, so if you just click on this link, it will redirect you to the new page where you have to fill the forms. And to access this data set, you have to fill form with your actual institutional email IDs. You cannot use your Gmail, Yahoo or your Hotmail IDs. If you are the genuine researcher or the institutional person then only you will be able to make a request for this data set and once they approve it after that you will be able to download that data set okay so this is all about this effect net data set which is created by this Mohammad H Mahur PhD guy and professor at the electrical and computer engineer University of Denver okay so here is our third data set FER 2013 facial expression from an image okay so this data set is very popular for the beginners who want to develop the emotion detection systems okay so here you can find the more details about the data set like this data set consists of all 48 by 48 pixel grayscale images and it has a different seven categories of emotions like angry disgust fear happy sad surprise neutral and it contains around 28,709 images inside of its training set and around 3,589 examples in the test set 
Okay, so I can say that this data set is having very good amount of images uh, with a small size of 48 by 48 pixels. So overall size of this data set is just a 54 MB. So if you are a beginner, I would recommend that you should go for this data set to create a emotion detection system. And after that, you can go for the other facial expression image data sets or the sensors based data sets for the emotion detection. Okay, so if you just scroll down on this Kaggle site, so here you'll find the, all the folders available inside of this particular data set. So it has a test and train folder. And inside of this test folder, it has a seven folders according to the each emotion and each folder contains the images related to that particular emotion so if I am accessing the angry folder I will have the all the face images with the angry emotion okay so similar way you will also find their train folder and inside of that you will find the similar kind of seven categories of emotional folders and inside of that you will find the respective images okay so if you want to download you can just go here and click on this download button and it will download this data set or you can just go on top and you can click here download and it will just download the data set on your local system okay so this is all about about our third data set year 2013 now let's move to the our fourth data set so here we have our fourth data set that is a asset trained data set okay so this data set is not an image data set for the emotion detection so it's actually sensor based data set so if i just go to the its home page so here you can see that asset train emotion and personality recognition using the commercial sensors okay so this is the sensor based data set which has some readings and based on that it is identifying the emotion so if i just click on this web page link it will direct me to the this actual data set page and here I can read the more details about this data set how exactly it works and how the sensors and all those things okay so I'm also not sure about the all these sensor details I just came across this data set so I just wanted to share with you guys if you want to read more details about this data set you can just go into the description and you can see that from how many people it has been recorded, what was this age and what kind of reading it has been done with which kind of sensors and here you will find the details about all the collected data and here you will find the contact information so you can contact if you need any help along with this data okay or if you want to download this data set okay if you're coming back to the home here and just scroll down you'll find here the link to access this particular data set you have to click over here and the data set will download for you okay so that's it about our fourth asset train data set now let's move to the our fifth data set Okay, so here is our fifth data set which is available on the Kaggle where you can access free, download this data set at a free of cost. But actual name of this data set is over here. Like this data set has a name like Extended Cohen Kennedy data set. Okay, and this data set is having different kind of eight class of images like a neutral, anger, contempt, disgust, fear, happy, sadness, and surprise. And this kind of images you will find inside of this particular data set. Okay. So you can see that on Kaggle also they have provided the acknowledgement of this original data set of the Cohen Kennedy. Okay. So if you're interested in this data set, then you can just hit the link which I will provide in the description box and you will get redirected to Kaggle. And here you can find the more details about this data set that who has created and when created and what kind of content it has with which are all the different categories of emotion. Okay. I guess this data set is also small size so let me just scroll down and see that what is the its size so let me just click on the data and if I just scroll down okay so now you, this data is removed from here okay so I'll just provide the alternate link to download that particular data set so I went to the papers with code site and here I'll found this data set of extended Cohen candidate data set. Okay, so I'll just provide this link in the description box and from there you can download this data set. Okay, so I'm just going to provide this another link for this particular data set. Okay, so now let's go to the our sixth data set. So here is our sixth data set that is a dreamer data set. Okay, so a data set of emotion recognition through EEG and ECG signals. Okay, so this is also not an image or facial expression based data set. It is a actually a data set which contains reading of the EEG and ECG signals okay so you can see the more details about this data set here like 
The signals are collected from the 23 participants were recorded along with the participants of the self-assessment of their effectiveness state after each stimuli in terms of valence, arousal and the dominance. Okay, and if you want to access this data set, then you won't be able to access directly. You have to take a permission first. And once they grant your permission, you will be able to access it. Okay, so first of all, you have to request for the access. And once they grant, you will be able to download this data set. Okay, so now let's move to the, our next data set. So here is our seventh data set that is a Google facial expression comparison data set. Okay, so this data set is in form of a triples. Okay, so here you can see that it has a face image triples and along with the human annotations that specifies which two face in each triple from the most similar pair in terms of a facial expression. So you can see in the data set that it is having a 500k triples and total 156k face images which is having a size around 200 MB. Okay, so this data set contains the image URLs. It is not having the direct images. So I haven't accessed it yet, but based on my knowledge, you have to use some crawling tool to access this all the images from the URL and then you can just use those images for your emotion detection project. Okay, so now let's move to the our last and eight data set. So here is our eight data set that is the K Emocon, a multimodal sensor data set for the continuous emotion recognition in neuralistic conversations. Okay, so this is also not an image based data set. So it is also having the different signal readings based on the different parameters of the valence, arousal and the dominance. Okay, so if you want to access this data set, you have to first raise a request and once they approve on this site, you will be able to download this data set. Okay, so that's all about this, all the data sets. I'm going to provide these all eight links in the description box. You can go there, download these data sets related to the facial expression or different signals recorded related to the different emotions. Okay, so hope you find this information useful. If yes, then please hit on the like button, subscribe to this channel to learn more about data science and machine learning. If you have any questions and doubt, then just mention to the comment box. I'll try to get back to you. Stay happy, stay safe. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.